beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the Holy Bible and how the stories inside the Bible relate to us. Even though these stories were, some of them, you know, over a couple thousand years old, you know, the Old Testament, that uh, people think that maybe it doesn't relate to us today, you know, that those were such barbaric times, say, or, um, well, just not very technically advanced as we are now. And I, the, let me get through, I get, uh, I get stuck here. So let's move forward. Now, the other day we saw how I took and burnt a bunch of my paperwork. Okay, and this, the, 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 the stuff that I have that, that's there, that's inside me. That was a gift that came from the Bible, from the Holy Ghost. All glory to Jesus. So, I don't need paperwork to remember what was given to me by the Holy Ghost. Okay? When those things are given, those type of gifts are given to you, they're, they're, they're ingrained into you. It's not something that needs to be, you know, I wrote that down for others, not for me. Okay? Does that make sense? I've got it in me. It never will leave me. It's a gift given to me. Now, how, why, why do I bring that up? Uh, well, we, we, we know right now... Okay, and, and so how I'm going to relate that to a story in the Bible. And there are ten wise... No, excuse me. There's ten virgins in the Bible. There's a story of ten virgins. And at midnight, they're burning their oil... I'm slaughtering this. I apologize. But five of the virgins run out of oil that keeps their lamp burning at night so that they can see throughout the darkness. We all use lights at night. It's middle of the night now. I'm using a light right now. Okay. So the story is there's ten virgins and they've got their candles burning and five of the virgins oil in their lamps run out. And they go to the other five and say, can we have some of your oil? And the five that still had oil said, we only have enough for us and you have to go back into town to go and purchase more oil. There is only enough in my for me to burn throughout the night. And so there's many inter you know, people talk about the story the story and give their, you know, viewpoint of it and, and we know it and we've heard it uh, uh, millions of times. So let's discuss that in real life right now. And we know that that oil is a metaphor for your faith. And we know that in the story when the, the five virgins that went into town to buy more oil, that when they came back, they had missed the boat. They had missed the, the, the coming of Jesus Christ. They missed the whole wedding. They missed the whole event. Because they were scrambling to still find their faith, the oil. They had not filled up the inside with faith first. So that they could stay throughout the night with their own lamp lit so that they could see their way through the dark all the way until the point in time Jesus came and got them. Okay, so this is the story. 
Now, if you're trying to hold on to materialistic things, you will run back into town to grab your stuff Instead of heeding the word of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. If you are so worried about your physical paperwork, your physical work, okay? So imagine me going and it just, I don't know if you can or not, you know, but you, you, I've done years of uh, study and Q. Okay. So all dedication towards it. I mean, everything, 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 everything towards it. I did all my time. Everything re revolved around it. I studied it and wanted to know everything I could about it. Not someone else's opinion about it. So, you know, in a, in a way that's my work, you know, it, it's, it's me. It's what I've been a part of. It's what I've done. It's very important work. It's extremely important work. But it's physical man stuff. And if I hold that stuff more important than the word of Jesus Christ, I will listen to man and government instead of the word of Jesus Christ. And when an emergency comes, I will look and run towards my TV and my news when that's not what's really going to save me. Okay? Most people could never leave their physical stuff to go to the promised land. It's just not possible for most people. I've been blessed and blessed and blessed to have things taken from me repetitively. I've told you these stories, you know, where Everything I've owned has been stolen when I come off of work, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, you have what you have on your feet and on your, in your pocket. And, you know, this has happened to me not once, but, you know, repetitively. So I, I've been, you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, how hard those times are. But now I realize that the physical things are the anchor that keeps you from going forward in the Word of God. If you're... How else does Satan work but by using physical carrots to keep us to doing the wrong thing? If we were constantly trying to attain physical things in our life, we will do physical harm to others to attain those things. Of a, a trick in man's way in government. Every single time there's a new administration, a Democrat to Republican, they blame the administration. You know, like right now, it's a Biden's administration's fault. The last time it was Trump's administration's fault. The time before that, it was Obama's administration's fault. But the only thing that stays consistent throughout the whole thing and my entire life, basically, is that the lawmakers and the congressmen that are in the office have always been there. The administration itself that makes and passes the laws and upholds the laws have always stayed there. The administration, they blame the leader, but they keep the people there that make the laws. The administration itself never changes. Follow who you want. Q or Jesus Christ. Man or Jesus Christ. 